if you look at the stats, most podcasts do not survive beyond the year mark. And that's probably because of this right here, right? We've talked about this before. In the beginning, your motivation is high and you're like, yes, I'm gonna do this thing. You have this exciting idea and you start get started. And then motivation goes down. And then at some point, uh, what am I doing? Apparently for podcasts, that's around the one year mark. We're coming up in July on one year of the podcast. So here we are. <laughs> And then you have a decision to make. Am I gonna keep going or am I going to let this thing go? Welcome to the Productive Introvert Community Podcast, helping ambitious introverts who feel deep down that they can add more value to the world to really thrive in their work. I'm Mariela Franker, and I'll be sharing what I'm learning as an introverted entrepreneur, a natural productivity coach, and a mom while I build my business online and take care of my family and myself. In this podcast, you'll learn the mindset and the practical steps to naturally increase the impact of your work while making space for your unique strengths as an introvert. Hi, it's Mariella. Here we are again for our podcast episode this week. So last week I shared that doing the podcast has been feeling a little tough for me lately. I felt like I... I fell out of love with it for a little while, which is very normal. Um, everything that we do goes up and down, right? And the first challenge is to kind of understand for yourself, where is that coming from? And in my case, what I figured out by just reflecting on it, and I'm still going through that process, so you know, I'll probably circle back at some point. But what I've I've uncovered so far is that for me, it has to do with not really knowing how it slots into the other things that I'm doing. When I started, it was uh, the podcast for me was just a different channel that that I was testing out um, to be visible in a way that I could feel good about. And from all the things that I've tried, it is definitely it's like one of my absolute favorites. So that part was there. But then of course you get into the daily grind of things and we are coming up, we're coming up in July on one year of the podcast. <laughs> and this is like classic, if you look at the stats, most podcasts do not survive beyond the year mark. And that's probably because of this right here, right? We've talked about this before. In the beginning, your motivation is high and you're like, yes, I'm gonna do this thing. You have this exciting idea and you start to get started. And then you're like, okay, it's, it's good. You know, we're figuring things out and then motivation goes down. And then at some point, uh, what am I doing? Apparently for podcasts, that's around the one year mark. So here we are. <laughs> and then you have a decision to make. Am I gonna keep going or am I going to let this thing go? In my case, I am deciding to keep going because the podcast takes a lot of boxes for me. The first one is, I love sharing this way. It almost feels like a one-to-one -one conversation, even though, of course, we're not actually talking. You're not talking back to me. However, people do contact me all the time referencing the podcast. So it does feel like I can have that one-to-one -one conversation using this format. The second thing is one thing that I get very stressed out about around visibility. That's me personally. Okay. It's different for everyone. But for me personally, what stresses me out a lot, especially on social media, is the, the, the throughput. It's just very fast. And you get this pressure that you need to be posting things online every single day in order to stay relevant to people. I really don't like that pressure. I like to be in my little cocoon and to share what I feel can help people and to share that when I feel ready to share it. So social media, for me, um, I am on certain channels and I do understand the value of it. I'm also learning how to do that in a way that fits better with me, learning from mentors and, and taking courses around marketing as well, not my strong suit. So, you know, and as a business owner, you do have to do some form of marketing. 
So finding things that really match with you, that is the challenge. Once you find that, you're golden. So that has also been really a journey of, of looking around and trying things and finding that for me. So, um, and a podcast takes away a lot of that pressure for me because this is a pre-recorded video that I'm doing, obviously. And then I'm posting it in a posting schedule to go out when when the podcast needs to go out. So right now I'm still doing the week by week. Okay, I don't I don't have a lot of podcasts lined up or anything like that. It's not very streamlined yet, but I do have that space to not have to like do 10 of them in a week or something. And that gives me a lot of peace of mind. So those are two very important things. And the third thing that I've noticed, which is amazing and I'm super excited and very grateful for that as well, is that the podcast is connecting with people. I'm getting more and more people contacting me who actually found me through the podcast and booking calls with me to reveal their habit style, um, which is what I'm offering now as a, a free 30-minute call. So people who, especially if they're, they've tried to build habits in the past, but they can't really find a routine or rhythm that feels good to them, especially when they feel like, oh, I'm not disciplined enough. It's very difficult to stay on top of things in your business if you don't have habits and systems in place that, that can help you to, to keep going, especially when that motivation dips, right? So um, people have been contacting me and uh, we're revealing their habit styles because that can give you a lot of insight into how you personally build habits and what's the best way for you to approach that instead of trying the one size fits all things that you find online and then failing at them and feeling really bad about yourself. There is nothing wrong with your discipline. There is nothing wrong with your process. You just haven't found it yet. So that's what I'm helping people discover on these calls. And I'm getting more and more people contacting me through the podcast. So ding, 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 you know, it takes all these boxes. And still I felt kind of stuck um, around what do I really want to share? And I I haven't figured it out yet. Just full disclosure, (laughs) I'm still figuring it out. Um, Because as you grow, as you grow in your business, in your life, um, as you learn more about yourself, these things will shift and grow with you if you choose to bring them along. In an attempt to wrap my head around this, I decided to do another behind the scenes series. I'm going to be sharing um, just behind the scenes in a written a written behind the scenes series. The first time I did a behind the scenes when this podcast started, I was fumbling and dropping stuff and <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> um, I still do that, by the way, but now I have the option to edit, which is both a blessing and a curse, if you ask me. Um, But yeah, so in the coming weeks, I'm going to be sharing a written behind the scenes series, Productive Introvert Letters. That's my mailing list. I'm sharing things like what I'm trying out, um, things that are working, things that aren't working, mistakes, but of course also lessons that I'm learning. And uh, just some day-to-day stuff, Um, hanging out with my family or, you know, growing with our toddler, which is the best way that I can put it, and combining parenthood with entrepreneurship because that's a whole lot of challenge on its own. So if you're interested in more behind the scenes stuff, I invite you to sign up for Productive Introvert Letters. That's my mailing list. I will leave the description in the link. Oh. (laughs) I will leave the link in the description and you'll also get the free training from stress to focus with this simple daily practice. As for the podcast, I will continue and uh, yeah, just, you know, bear with me as I figure out how this slots into with all the other stuff and let's continue our journey together. Thank you for hanging out with me today and let's talk again next week. 
Thank you for listening to the Productive Introvert Community Podcast. If you're an introverted entrepreneur and you're ready to thrive in your own way, then connect with me on thefrankermessage.com slash content.